Hello students of life, dress to impress. THU The Homo University Last week here on THU, things were kind of heavy, so we decided to bring it back a little and just talk about fashion tips this week. So let's just get right into that. My fashion tip would be all guys should have a bow tie. Now, the reason why I think this, one, they're adorable, and two, they can instantly dress up any outfit. You can be a very casual dressy or you can be a very formal dressy depending on what you pair with your bow tie. Bow ties are an accessory that you can wear all year round, whether it's summer, spring, fall, or winter. Also, they don't necessarily have to color coordinate with your outfit. If you have like a funky print bow tie, you can pretty much wear it with anything. So I think it's really fun accessory. And like I said before, it can instantly take your outfit from drab to fab. <laughs> Currently, I only have about four or five bow ties, but I'm always looking for new ones. And I guess since I started watching Gossip Girl and Ed Westwick or Chuck Bass, he always is dressed impeccably. And most of the time it entails a bow tie. And that's my fashion tip, a bow tie. And before I talk to the other guys, I just wanted to let you know that today is National Coming Out Day. It doesn't mean that you have to come out the closet. You must come out the closet. No, that just lets you know that you're not alone and that there are other people who have done it before you and have survived it. There are coming out videos all over YouTube, but we also here on THU, our first week was all of our coming out videos. So you can go and revisit those. And if you haven't come out, you can watch that and maybe it will help you or inspire you. But everyone has to come out on their own time. What, what up, the thugs? Last week we talked about the It Gets Better project and gay hate and gay discrimination. And I just wanted to thank everyone who left a comment on my video. It means the world to me. Thank you so much for all the inspiring words and everything that you said to me in the comment section on that video. Also, Maddie K, <laughs> I love your acid tongue. You know I have one as well. Alex, your video was very heartfelt and I understand your relationship with your mother never wanted to leave her because I'm also what they would call a mama's boy. So I really connected to your story in that way and I'm sorry that you have to go through that. Eric, that is horrific that one, your school, no school official did anything to help you. Also, that the other kids that knew you and were supposedly your friends just sat around and watched you get embarrassed like that. I mean, I know in my high school, if anything like that would have happened, the school officials would have t taken care of that one. Two, my mother would have been in school the next day. Three, my friends that were sitting around me would have stuck up for me. So I'm sorry that you had to go through that and especially that you had to go through it alone. Forrest, whoo. I cried during your whole video. I texted you as soon as I finished watching it and said that I loved you and that I was there for you whenever. Oh my God, I'm getting choked up right now. <laughs> Just thinking about it. It was really brave of you to share that story about your mother and all of that. And for all the boys, Matt, Eric, Alex, and Forrest, I love you and I'm very grateful that you're all a part of this channel and that I'm glad that I picked you guys. So, whatever. <laughs> Enough of the mushy stuff. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe and we're gonna keep giving you quality videos. So, peace.